When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And as he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates the sheep and the goats, he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world for I was hungry and you gave me food I was thirsty and you gave me drink a stranger and you welcomed me naked and you clothed me ill and you cared for me in prison and you visited me then the righteous will answer him and say Lord when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink when would we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you when did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The story Jesus tells of the Last Judgment is one that... Uh, should catch our attention and the invitation that he gives us and the, the call that he gives us is to really live out the corporal works of mercy which are all listed here uh, for us. I had a moment when I was uh, taking my brother and his wife out for their 39th wedding anniversary and we were going to uh, one of our nice restaurants and I had a gentleman stop me, uh, and I was dressed as a bishop, of course, and asked me for uh, $17. Why $17? I'll never know at this point. Uh, but as I looked into his eyes, I could see that he was really in bad shape, really in bad shape. So the question was, give him something or not give him something, because I had no wherewithal to do anything else. So I decided to give him something and uh, enough for a good meal and and then I kind of pressed his his uh, hand and I said this is not for alcohol and this is not for drugs and he just stopped and shook his head yeah so as the story continues when we were to be seated in the restaurant we actually sat at a table that was right next to the window and who was sitting right outside the window with that man. And as I sat down, I said two prayers. One, thank God I gave you something because here I am sitting in a nice restaurant and I've got a poor guy sitting out there and, and you know. And the second was that it not be dr for drugs, that it not be for alcohol, that he really did hear me. Um, in any event, it's those moments that Jesus is talking about. Those moments for each of us. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. 